Welcome back to the Good Enough Garage. Been a while since we've done one of these, right? I got Old Sport in here, my 88 S10, the daily driver, because we're gonna do something cool to this thing. I bought a set of these at the local boat store of all places, because they like to use these in boats, but it's a cup holder. <gasps> a cup holder? Bart, we gotta stop and get a cup. This thing's got a bench seat in it. There's nowhere to put a good cup holder unless you get one of those armrest things to go in the center, which I don't really care for, or you get some sort of thing to go on the floor, or something stupid, and I just never really cared for that. Well, Aaron over at Bunch Pinstriping came up with this really cool idea that he did in his 60 Chevy wagon, and I'm kind of stealing his idea a little bit, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Hopefully he's okay with that, probably not. So I'm gonna show you guys how I put this in. I already did it on the White Wall Special, so I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. What do you say we get started? I'm White Wall Steve, and this is my Good Enough Garage. Let's open up the door. Got some stuff on the seat here, some paint. Kind of set that off to the side. Some bull crap, garbage, the cassette tapes. Okay. So first things first, we gotta get the seat taken out. One thing I am gonna check real quick though, before we get too far, cause the cup holders are gonna go right here in the center. So we're gonna do two of them, one here, one here. But we gotta make sure, well, and of course, this thing does not want to go into, into reverse. Okay, so we got to make sure that wherever we put this isn't going to affect reverse on the shifter, which it doesn't look like it. That one's, one's going to be here, one's going to be here, so it should be fine even with second. So let's go ahead, get the seat pulled out, and get this taken care of. out I'll bring you in show you what I'm gonna do and then we'll get right to it now under here there's a bar metal bar that goes right across and this seam looks like it's pretty dead center so we're gonna use that as our center point so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a bracket that bolts to this curves up just enough so it's 90 degree angle right here it'll curve up like that and then we'll do a T that'll come across and the cup holders will be on that T we'll have two bolts here two bolts in the T, and then we'll bolt the cup holders to that. So what do you say we get this all put together and started? So I'm gonna be using eighth inch steel. I got this piece right here, which is uh, two inches wide. This is gonna be the main bracket that bolts to the seat. And then I got this piece here, which is also eighth inch. It's probably a little overkill, but hey, I want this thing to not bend when you put a heavy drink in it. This is uh, three inches wide. And this is what the cup holder will bolt to, like that. So let's get these cup holders out of here. And they come with screws and stuff, but uh, we're not gonna use any of those. We're gonna actually bolt these in. And what's kind of cool about these cup holders, you know, they, they fold flat, and then they also extend for wider drinks. It's kind of nuts. Let's get this kind of cut down to the length that we need. I got where I want to cut marked out. So we're going to get this cut and then we want to bend this at a 90 degree angle. We want to figure out where we're going to bend it. And I'll bring you in to show you where, how we figure that out. I do all this by eyeball. I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but this is how I'm doing it. Cause it doesn't have to be dead nuts. Perfect. It's just got to be high enough. Hold your drink. So let's get this cut first and then we'll figure out where we need to bend this. I got my piece cut so like I said I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this I'm gonna have it kind of overhang just a little bit on there 
you want it to be centered. I'm gonna need two hands for this, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it off camera. Uh, but I need to mark where the bend needs to be. So the bend needs to be like right, right there, right at the crease there. And then we're gonna drill two holes in it and get the holes drilled into this into the bar here. Then we can get two holes drilled into this for the T-bar that goes across. So let's get that done next. I got my mark done. So we put this in the place right where that line is just at the top of the place. Make sure it's straight. You don't want to bend it kind of wonky. Get it nice and tight in there. Now I'm sure there's better ways to do this. Heat it up. Get out your torches. Maybe a little propane map gas whatever i don't know i don't care i use a hammer make sure you don't bend it too far and then uh Yeah, bend it a little too far. Bend it back up a little bit. Now you want to watch because it'll it'll kind of twist while you're hitting it. I think this kind of twisted. So you just want to make sure you kind of keep it straight. But there you go. There's a 90 degree angle. Now we want to put it up to the seat. Put it up to the seat. And just like that, now we're going to have to mark it here. We're going to have to cut a little bit off the top, which is fine. But you basically want that thing to be right where it's flush. You know, just like that. Now, there will be a little gap here, but once it's in the truck, you'll never see that. And then you want it so it's so it's nice and nice and straight. And then we're going to drill two holes here and two holes here. And then we're going to get that top bar in. Now that we got our holes all drilled in the bracket, got the holes drilled in the seat. Now, oh, and we got the holes drilled in this bracket too. Or measure twice and cut once. I, I measured once and cut twice. I don't know, it'll work. But anyway, so next up, we wanna get this all bolted together. Get this bolted onto here, like that. And then we're gonna put our cup holders in. Now the cup holders will take four bolts each, so that's eight bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the cup holders marked out on here and drilled and we're going to use this and i'm using quarter 20 bolts to mount this stuff and then i'm using some real small bolts for the cup holders so uh let's go ahead and get that done
there it is all bolted up. Now normally I would, you know, paint the bracket, make it look all fancy, but I don't really have a whole lot of time for that because I gotta be able to drive this thing to work tomorrow. And it's getting pretty late, so I don't really have time for paint to dry. So, but there's the bracket. There's your cup holders. And all we gotta do is bolt this on the seat and get the seat thrown back in. Okay guys, so here's my bottle of water, here's my cup holders, they come out like that, bam, look at that. This is the snack holder where I can put my beverage, or if you will, cupcake. Goes into second just fine, should go into reverse just fine, even with a cup there. No more having to hold the drinks while I'm trying to shift. So that's the bench seat cup holder install. Feel free to do it on your car because it turned out really freaking cool. And I got this in both of my trucks now because I just thought it was that good of an idea. And it's a real simple thing to do. That's going to do it for this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on the White Wall Steve Good Enough Garage. But right now, I got to go get a cup because I got a cup holder now.